Well, hey there. Well, hi there. Well, ho there, Travel Start. It's Liz here, just checking in. Thank you guys for watching. I know that you can spend your time absolutely anywhere and that you do it with us just makes my heart happy. So thank you guys so much for that. So this is a quick video about the passport fiasco that my husband and I went through. As you guys know, or at least those of you that were with us, um, when I had to renew my driver's license and attempted to get a real ID, it was a mess. It was just the computers were down. I had an appointment. They still said it was going to be a two hour wait. And then they wanted my marriage license, but I've been Elizabeth Rivas for, you know, 23, 24 years. So anyhow, uh, we went to get our passports. You know, we have the group cruise coming up and when we went into the passport, uh, area in our local post office that's where you go in to do your paperwork they there were signs everywhere it was basically like they didn't want to talk to us don't ask any questions just come in sit down and shut up um like the walls were littered like somebody got happy with their printer and they were like huh well you know i bet they won't ask this question again so um the passport in the u.s is 110 dollars if you need a brand new passport, you have to pay a $35 processing fee, and so that's that. If you want to get the passport and the uh, little passport cards, you get the book and the card, it's $140 combined. And you will need a updated uh, passport picture. You'll need your paperwork filled out but not signed. You have to get that handled in front of the passport uh, professional. You're going to need your paperwork filled out. You're going to need your money order for the... Um, the, the fee and then also for the passport, whichever way you decide to go. And um, you're going to need your either naturalization paperwork or you're going to need your uh, birth certificate, you know, so that you can prove that you are who you say you are, right? So you take all that stuff uh, right on down to the passport office. And in our case, when we walked in, there was a room full of people, a tiny little room full of people uh, there were chairs all along the wall and there were people standing adjacent to the chairs almost completely around the room and it's hot and muggy and just nasty. And so we went in and someone says, you have to take a ticket. And I was like, okay, sure. And they were like, but there's no tickets. Okay. Uh, and so we start looking around. Nope. There's no one you can ask any questions for too. There's legitimately no one here. And I was like, that's double weird. So we went up to the uh, little counter where it had the little ticket stand and she was right. It said, please take a ticket. But below it was a big sign that said, we aren't giving out any more tickets until we're caught up. Or we ain't giving out any more tickets until we are caught up. I think somebody just had a bad day. But anyhow, um, so my husband stayed through to the end of the day to try to get in and they sent him home. They were like, no. So he had to go back again the following morning for another two and a half hours to sit there and wait to get his passport. Sorry about the moving, you guys. Um, and so basically it took two days to go and get our passport stuff handled. We were told by the woman on the post office side that if you come during the, the mornings when people that have children won't be there, you stand a better chance of getting in and getting seen and not having, you know, the mess that we had when we got there. Um, we were also told that if you try to make an appointment for passports, they were booked at least two months out. Now we're in California, but, um, you know, there you go. And so we just, you know, it was like a roll of the dice and they still might not see you. And so that's the way it was. My husband ended up taking extra time off today so he could go get that handled. So anyhow, if you guys are going to get passports and if like us, life happens and it just, you know, you were like, I got to go get this passport done like now. Um, that's just our experience. I hope it helps you maybe try to go first thing in the morning and uh, get it out of the way. They did tell us that people start lin lining up at 7.30 in the morning in our, pa in our um, post office you know, and passport area doesn't open until 10.30 in the morning. So I guess it's still a crapshoot either way, but that was our experience. Actually, when I got my first passport, we were in and out of the post office within like 10, 15 minutes. It was super quick. That was 10 years ago. 
Also, since my passport was a renewal, you have to send your passport, you have to send your updated picture, you have to send obviously the payment and the application. And if you go into the post office, they have a uh, like a pre-printed label that has the address information for the passport agency and all you have to do is fill in your address. Um, and then it was like $7.35 to mail out the form, at least from Northern California, so to, to mail everything out. So hopefully that helps you if you're wondering how much is, this is going to cost. The passport picture was $14 and I got it at CVS. Although I'm actually, I mean, and I'm not being like uppity or whatever, but I'm actually a, you know, fairly good looking woman. My passport picture came out looking like a mug shot. I don't know. The girl just wasn't having a good day. So I don't know if I would do CVS again, but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of fees to expect because you still have to mail everything out and you still have to get your updated passport picture unless you take it yourself and so on and so forth. So I hope that this helps you guys in terms of your passport. And um, this is this just happened to us. So there you go. Okay, so that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on the very next video. Lots of love and warmth and joy and gratitude and just great, great memories, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video, okay? Bye, guys. Bye.